Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in Trade Symbol 4 on the the Midland on the Midland Mainline, which just received a massive free update for everyone who has the route. Um so uh this is this is quite good. Lots of great improvements to the route, including this has, however, broken the Midland Mainline Enhancement Pack from the Train Sim Community website, so you will have to delete that from your DLC folder. I apologize for my brother speaking in the background. He should be. Um, uh, so, yeah, this is this is amazing. So, um, release a patch in preparation for the release of Cargo Line Volume 2. Aggregate improvements for Class 158, 43, and Root. Following changes will be live shortly. As always, please allow for tw up to 24 hours for updates to come through. The highlights. Fully upgraded scenery from Mount Sor Railhead to support the Cargo Line Volume 2 Aggregate Gameplay Pack. I'm not going to get it. I don't like gameplay packs. Complete overhaul of the timetable, adding train preparation time, correct station time to the 2018 timetable. Nice. Um, improved setup a single approach control. I don't know why approach control is in quotes. If you know why that's in quotes, please let me know. At various junctions to better represent the prototype. Further extensive improvements to trackside vegetation across the route. One of the people who works on the Midland Mainline Enhancement Pack, which is excellent, actually joined Sky, uh, helped Skyhook do the do this patch. So that's actually uh, London Midland. Thank you to the London Midland for helping with this update. Um, added additional services to the timetable for owners to Southeastern High Speed and the Flying Scotsman. So yes, we finally have a Flying Scotsman rail tour on the Midland Mainline. All right, Class One Five Eight Guard. Door closing now takes less time, making it easier to keep to the timetable. Yay! That's so good, because the doors used to take forever to close. Passenger information screen will now show the correct final destinations. Interior lights will no longer be disabled when camera moves away. AI Class 158 trains will now behave more as expected and interfere less with the timetable. Improved visuals for console players. Good. Increase the brightness of the DRA switch when active so it's more obvious it is, it is actually on. Removed pixelated ambient occlusion effects. Stopped weather effects. Wait a minute. What? Stopped weather effects from occurring on the cab dials. No way. Okay, I didn't know that was even a bug. That's pretty funny. Corrected for the 43. Corrected ride height of power car to resolve gaps in the bogey suspension. Okay. Lights will now feature an improved spread. More accurate color. Dial needles will glow, glow in the dark. I don't know if that's realistic, but that's pretty good. Cab lights are now working as intended. Improved visuals for console players. Removed rough r rogue polygon from car power car rear wheel set. Route fixes and improvements. This is huge. Added two Flying Scotsman services, one Zulu 37 and one Zulu 38. Implemented um, station stop timing throughout the city nearest minute on all passenger services. Made service preparations for players easier by adding 20 seconds of extra time. Non-passenger services now feature one minute of setup time for easier setup, easier setups. Class 158 services starting at Derby have been moved to appropriate starting points. Lincoln-bound services starting at Nottingham have been moved to appropriate endpoints before AI takes over. Several AI trains inbound from Lincoln now arrive at appropriate platforms in Nottingham. And on and on and on and on and on on and on. Uh, just, just screenshot that and read it yourself. There's a lot a lot of um, of fixes, but this last one is funny. Removed water texture from top of Ratcliffe Power Station cooling towers, making them look like they're full of water. As I've said, before we get into the game, as I've said, if you have the Midland Mainline Enhancement Pack installed, this patch broke the Midland Mainline Enhancement Pack. So if you have the Enhancement Pack, please delete it, otherwise it will break the route. Okay. Uh, let me just flip it over to Trains of World. There we go. So now these are the services that I have. We've got on foot, as usual. We've got the Class 158, which is what we're going to be using for today's journey. I'm pretty sure it has more services, uh, but they... I don't know. We've got the Class 37, which I... Uh, class 37 ROG, the ROG one. I think it has an extra service, I'm pretty sure. The Class 66, this used to have only one service if you didn't have a gameplay pack. Now, it has three 
uh, six, at, le at least like 12. 12 services, which is excellent. And some in the middle of the day as well. So that's that's pretty good, rather than one just running in the night. We've got the two services. Whoops. Come here. Two services for the Flying Scotsman. One from. Uh, from Nottingham to Leicester. And. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, Leicester to Nottingham at 0925, and Leicester to Nottingham at 650. Okay. And then we've got, of course, the class 43 with the two separate configurations. Um, uh, so, right, let's take the class 158. I haven't got any creators club liveries as far as I'm sure. Let's go back a bit. I want something that's more like Leicester to Nottingham. Yes. Let's, um, I actually have a relative who lives in Leicester. I've been there in real life. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dad, why are you talking? That I'm on. I'm recording. Oh, my my grandpa's on the phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. My the comment section is going to love this. Alright. Oh, and if anyone did see my community post, yes, I've booked the flights June sixth to August thirtieth. I will be in the United States. In Wisconsin, hopefully, I will be able to um, get whoops, uh, get go to Oshkosh. That I uh, as release the brakes lights today. Safety's on. Um, is it is that it or no? I have to switch to DRA. All right, DRA off. All right, welcome to a Leicester. Oh. Does, does Lester State... Uh, I, this, the, the patch notes. Skyhook have really... I know Skyhook has the propensity to release... Um, like, get bat, uh, gameplay packs that just aren't necessary. They should be free updates to the game. But... it It's still cool that they're going back to these older routes, like the Midland Mainline, and continuously patching them. Like, they, they're releasing a patch like every four months for this. The, this bridge looks a different color. <laughs> that bench look at, looks like it has more weathering. Oh, we act, we actually need to go already. All right, let's see how long the doors take to release. Because it used to take like thirty seconds before, as a pain in the arse. All right, come on. All right, let's do notch four. Next stop, Seiston in 4.7 miles. And this route already looks pretty good. But now that they've added all of these new serves. Oh, hello. Lucky. Oh, hello. Look at you. And that's a uh, class 37. A double ended 43. I've never seen that formation before. <gasps> Look at that! It's an intercity class forty-seven from Blackpool Brad. Oh, I love I love this update already. Um, um, but this is without the enhancement pack run. Like my previous videos, recorded a few months back on the Midland Main Line, they had the enhancement pack running. I had the enhancement pack running in the background, and the route looked excellent. But now, now, hmm, bit of flat grass texture. So hopefully the chaps who run them, who make the, um, oh, actually I have to, I have to throttle down here. Let's do notch one. There's a 25 limit coming up. Um, hopefully they're, hopefully the guys who do the middle of main nine enhancement pack are hurriedly working to fix the issues, the, the bugs that this patch has caused and are working to resolve the issue. Oh. What's this? That is an express parcel Mark One for Blackpool branches. Okay, that's that's interesting. All right, all right. We could go up to fifty to sixty-five. Let's go notch four. Bit quiet, but is that realistic? I don't, I don't know. All right, let's go full full throttle. Okay. Train surging forward. I, I, well, I still find a bit of a bummer 
is that you can't interact with the destination screen, even though they included this really nice little sticker here with all the destination numbers. So it's a bit of a shame that they still have included that. Class 158 is still the highlight of the three. Like, despite its short length, I'd say the route and sometimes Spartan timetable, I'd say this route is... is... yeah, I'd say it's worth the money. Like, the 158 is excellent with good sounds. The 43 is excellent with the Armstrong powerhouse sounds of the VP185 engine. The scenery is excellent. The, the timetable is varied, especially now with all those new services that have just been added. But a consistent complaint that I have about Skyhook is that they've started releasing gameplay packs. Like, it was Tankers before, with the... I made a video specifically about that gameplay pack where I shouted out Skyhook for their, for their propensity to release gameplay packs. Um, but now... But now they're releasing another one. It's called Aggregates. And it, I must say, these should either be free upgrades or be priced at like maximum five United States dollars. Because they're currently priced for me like 10 US dollars. And for a gameplay pack, that just feels way too expensive. Oh, hello. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it's a class 43. Look at that. Like, the HST feels like a bit of a caged animal uh, on this route. Like, you get it up to speed and then you have to slow it down because it's coming into Eastman the Park where you get up to speed again and then you have to slow down. So, it the route feels like the correct length for the... Oh my goodness. Um, for the... For the 158, but for the HST, it's, it's too short. Like... This route should be extended up to Matlock. Like, also another feature I like about this route is that Skyhook, back in December 2023, actually patched this route and made the 158 um, able to be coupled with the what, Class 142 from Blackpool Branches, so you can do, like, double-headed services. I have done that before on the channel. Oh, have I... Let's see, did I forget any of the oh, crew light? Yeah, I did forget some of these switches. Where's the speed up that? Yeah. Also, the weathering on the dash, like, this looks like a train that's been in service about 30 years, which is, which this thing has. Well, yeah. One mile to Seiston. Alright, so what is our timetable for today? We've got Seiston, Syllabi, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Barrow Upon Soar, love these British names, Loughborough, which is how you pronounce it, anyone who isn't from the area, that's how you pronounce it, East Midlands Parkway, which was going to be a terminus point for HS2 before they cancelled it, Beeston, and Nottingham. So, that's, that's quite... Right, let's put notch one on the brakes. Notch, notch two. Actually, that's that's too quick. That's too quick. This thing, this thing has good brakes. Also, is it Seiston? I remember watching Train Spotter from Tauranga's review on this route, and he, I, I haven't done one of the Leicester to Nottingham services in the one fifty eight. It looks like both services at Seiston are handled by this one platform, which is actually pretty cool. Alright. Alright, we are on time. Oh, yeah. Alright. Sounds on the 158 and 43, I must say, are just excellent. Like, they, it sounds like a 158, even though I've never heard one in real life. Just sounds authentic. The sound quality is is really, really good. Whoops, I did not need to put the emergency brakes on. That was a mistake. Um, open the right doors. All right, here we go. Seiston, ladies and gentlemen. This is the... I must say, this is the route that keeps on giving. For me, anyway. Because, like, 
Skyhook have gone back and patched this route so many times. Like, the original release of this route was nothing so short of disastrous, like, mis missing scenery, and the route just didn't feel complete. Like, but to their credit, Skyhook have gone back and they have done a lot of patches. And now the route is one of, the, I must say, one of the best. Oh, there's the guard door. Come on. Shut. There you go. One of the best in Train Sim World, I must say. Oh, guard buzzer. Next up, Syllabi and 2.8 miles. Alright, beans. And if this sounds like a 142 pacer, it's because this thing has the same type of Cummins engine that the late model, that the late model pacers actually had. Not late model pacers, but the pacers with the um, the pacers that had the Leyland TL, uh, the Leyland engines taken out and replaced with the Cummins. This this thing uses the same type of engine. Sadly, we don't get the Perkins engine variant, just the Cummins, which I, yeah. If Skyhook in a future pack released like. Oh, hello. Uh, I, if... Um... Yeah, if Skyhook come back and release the Cummins engine pacer... Uh, the Cummins engine... Not pacer. The Perkins engine class 1... Mm, class 158 as a... Uh, free update, and then also the class 222 Mer uh, Meridian as also a free update. And uh, not a free update, like maybe a low a low priced loco add-on. Then this route would feel complete for me, honestly. Like, we need a Meridian in TSW. That'd be, that, and especially one in the East Midlands Rail livery. Like the East Midlands Railway livery. East Midlands Trains, what am I saying? Rail is the new company. Train, the East Midlands, old East Midlands Trains livery just looks excellent. Like, East Midlands Rail now is more boring, but sadly East Midlands Trains went bankrupt. What do you expect? Does the GSMR work? Okay, you, t you just turn it on and it's already registered. The, it's the standard semi-functional GSMR that you get in TSW. Alright, let's cut it back to notch 2. And let's get a good fly pass shot before we arrive at the next station. Get ready to slow down, cut the throttle. Oh, that's, that's the cab view. Now, I've got gob mode, so notch one on the brakes. This thing does have pretty powerful brakes. So, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. As I've said, as I've said, Skyhook just love patching this route and updating it to even better standards than before. So I can't wait wait to see what's done with it. If Skyhook give it even more patches or um, uh, like not gameplay packs. Gameplay packs are just awful anyway. But if they release like um, what was it? And to release like a Meridian and more patches for this route, that it, yeah, that, this would be by far one of the best routes in the game. It is already one of the best routes in the game. Alright, here we go, Syllabi. Oh wow, there's this very weird looking underpass. I've also got trainsim.cz's um, invisible wall remover, so we should be, we should be able to take the drone camera Places where it, the developers did not originally intend for it to go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it forms a very, like, 
It's sort of odd T shapes. We've got Leicester down here, East Midlands Parkway up here, Derby up here, Nottingham up here. All right. Start the door shutting. Yeah, I can tell difference. The scenery is just that very slightly much worse than I when I had the enhancement pack running. But it's not honestly that much of a big difference. And I know the people at um at the um at the the people who make the enhancement pack are working to try to get that running as soon as possible so keep your eye on the latest train sim community mod updates on their website that's what i'll be doing certainly All right, let's, let's get going Let's open a window or two, shall we? The last to hear more of that glorious Cummins engine. 1.7 miles to Barrow Upon Soar, which is just an excellent name. Like, demonstrates the full potential of <laughs> British names. <laughs> oh, man. How's, how are my FPS doing? Hovering around 50. That's actually quite a lot better than normal TS TSW routes. Like, especially some of the more recent ones, like Blackpool Branches and the Go and the Gospel Oak to Barking Goblin Knight. Those, um... Those can hover around 30 frames per second. And by far the worst culprit is the Bernina line, hovering around 20 frames per second. Because, because of the gorgeous vistas, but... Yeah, this route seems to be pretty good performance-wise. Is, uh, is this the... Okay. So, yeah. Let, let, let me just go into photo mode a second. And I want to I want to show you something. Whoops, I just hit the wrong button. The, I can't... Trouble is with photo mode, I can't shift and go faster. Here we go. Here's the aggregates wagon that is currently in the game. It's the... I don't know what that is doing. But it's the... This DB Schenker Aggregates Wagon for Great Western Express. I have Great Western Express, so that's why it's showing up here. But the one that Skyhook is releasing is basically like a reskid version of this. So, like, come on. Why? Why? Like, why Why would I pay 10 US dollars for a reskinned version of an Aggregates Wagon that I already have? Like, it, 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 it's outrageous. Outrageous that Skyhook cons us in this way. I am I am glad of those extra class sixty six services though. That's 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 a major um that's a major help to Yeah, that because Yeah, we I also saw the Long Island Railroad uh oh. Come on. I also saw the Long Island Railroad V2. Honestly, I wasn't impressed. Like, it's it's a route we've had in the game for since 2017. This should have been an update to the um, to the original version of the LIRR and the original owner, the owners of the original LIRR should have been given a hefty discount. Like, frankly, saying that, like, frankly, only given, only giving, um, oh, that's a bit of an overshoot, but we'll overlook that. Um, frankly, only giving the owners of the original Long Island Railroad a 10% discount just feels like a kick in the teeth. Like, that's the only reason I'm not getting the extended, well, not the only reason. But I have heard some mixed reviews about it, for sure. Like, you still have to have the M3, Long Island Railroad M3 logo add-on for the whole timetable to be shown up. And also, that the line wasn't extend the main line wasn't extended to, down to, it wasn't extended past Hicksville, so we don't get Ronkonkoma anymore. 
We still don't get Ronkonkoma. All we get is the Long Beach branch. Yeah, it's, it it just feels like a bit. Of, it just feels like a bit of a con. Oh, hello. What did I see? I I I saw an NPC just step through the door, and out the other. Okay, shut shut the door. Shut the door. Ah, oh, now we wait for. At least we wait. At least we don't have to wait as long a time for all the doors to shut. All right, re go door. Please shut. Alright. Guard buzzer, and away we go. Uh, okay, I just left a minute early. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. How much longer to the next stop? Uh, okay. Loughborough. Where, where is that? Uh, let, let me check a map. Okay, it's about... Okay, I should... Yeah. That that was a bit of a mistake on my part, but who ca Who cares? I got it wrong. Oh, there's another HST! They're thick on the ground, aren't they? Oh, yeah, three miles to Loughborough. And we should be there in four and a half minutes. So it's Loughborough, then East Midlands Parkway. I see. Whoops, not that button. This button. That's it. What's this here? Is this like a... Oh, uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of, like, mobile cell tower. Yeah, I'm... For a... Yeah, that's my rant about the Long Island Railroad completed, but yeah, it just it just feels like it just feels yeah wrong. I hope they don't do the same for Great Western Express because Great Western Express is the oldest British route in the game, and it it's showing its age pretty badly. Like what I want what I want the developers to do is Great Western Express instead of pulling a Long Island Railroad on us is to give it give us this update it give us the players to do update basically with at least a 50 to 70 percent discount for the older players but I know that's probably not going to happen but anyway for, for the new Great Western Express route to be any good like, this is a theoretical route. This is not a route that I, we know that's in the pipeline. Um, if... So, it would have to have an extension to Oxford via Didka, of course. It would have to have... It would have to have... Um, uh, it would have to have a class 800 from GWR, 802, both of them by mode, diesel or electric. It'd have to have the class 385 from GWR, of course, and also the class 385 um, Heathrow Express version, so we'd have to have the Heathrow Express, an extension, extension to Oxford, ex um, Heathrow branch, um, um, and then all of the Thames Valley branch lines, not Except not, uh, and of course, including the Marla branch. I've read, uh, read it on the Marla branch many times in real life, and to not, if we didn't have the Marla branch, like that would just that would just be really annoying. Or or if Dovetail just gave us one of the Thames Valley branch lines, like the one down to Windsor and Eaton Central, like that would be really that would really be annoying. But yeah. But, yeah. And then also it'd have to include the class 345 Aventra to to show the Elizabeth line services. And I wouldn't even mind if they recycled the, the class 66 yet again. As long as it had the Armstrong powerhouse sounds and um... 
Yeah, because the Class 66 does run on the GW on the GWR section in real life. So we're at 0750 to uh, Lincoln. Sadly, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Look, the lifts, like on Rivet Games is. Um, uh, what's it? I'm trying to think. Uh, yes. Scott Rail Express, Edinburgh to Glasgow at Five Circle Line, Edinburgh Waverley to uh, Markinch by, uh, yeah, the, and also um, Dovetails, um, what was it, uh, Goblin Line, all, all three of those routes have working lifts, like, yeah, we, we want more working lifts, please developers like they legitimately increase the amount of of stuff to do and also the immersion listen to the sounds from this that sounds excellent armstrong powerhouse sounds for you right there all right we're a bit early but let's go Alright, our next stop is East Midlands Parkway in 6.3 miles. This is the first, I think, pretty sure this is the first time I've done the Leicester to Nottingham run in the 158. I've done it in the 43, but I've never done it in the 158. Okay, so we did, after that we do, we have East Midlands Parkway, Beeston, and Nottingham. So we've actually done the vast majority of the st station stops today. Where does this old track go off to? Is it like a little industrial siding? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. That was a bit of an overspeed, but... Oh, there's another 158. Hello there. Also, you can hear the track clunks. As it goes over the points, which, are which is pretty cool. Not a lot of trains have that in TSW. Alright. <sighs> where, where are we? So there's East Midlands Parkway just below the fork. We still don't have Totten Yard. Like, it's just up there. Why isn't it on the map? That's... No, wait, I think it got removed from the map. I think it was on the map before, but there are no timetable services that went to it. Now it's been removed from the map, and there are still no timetable services going to it. That's annoying. I think you can go there and, like, free roam or sc and scenario planner. Like, the tracks have been laid, but there's literally nothing there. Like, I want to see, like, an upgrade to Totten, Totten Yard and also um, some services um, for the 66 put into Totten into the next patch for this route and also hopefully also include the Perkins engine variant of the 158. Like that'd be so nice. And then uh, include along with that patch uh, the class 222 Meridian in East Midlands trades livery as a loco as a cheap loco add-on with really good quality. That'd be that'd be also really cool as well. Like yeah. Like this route is pretty is very good but it's far from perfect let me just say that you can go up to 75 that's insane For some reason I don't feel like I'm going very fast probably because I'm used to pounding along here in the 43 and I don't have, and I'm certainly going a lot slower than the class 43. Just testing the vigilance, making sure that was working. At least we're seeing a lot of AI traffic. At least a lot for this route. It's the timetable is to say the least, not not that packed. 
here. Okay. I'm zooming. Watch four, does that do it? Watch four is enough to maintain our speed. Nice. No? Watch three. It's very flat, this line, for sure. Witness. I think we've had enough. We've had enough of the sounds. Two miles to East of Midlands Parkway. We do have a 50 mile an hour limit coming up. Alright. So, where's Beeston? Down here. Okay, so we have East Midlands Parkway, which is there, beast images right here, and then we have Nottingham up here. So cut the throttle. Okay. Alright, oh, there's Ratcliffe Power Station. <sighs> Ratcliffe is really the scenery highlight of the route. Other than that, it's mostly English countryside. Over at Ratcliffe. <clears throat> hmm. Wow, that that is actually quite a detailed asset. Come on, let me go to the top of the towers. Nope, there's nothing in it. Oh well. All right, come on, buddy. East Midlands Parkway, as I said before, is actually going to be one of the terminus points of HS of HS2, High Speed 2, before it was cut back to Birmingham, sadly. The this um this route actually depicts the Midland mainline in its twenty eighteen state. So this is six years so this is six years ago. Is East what you can't see? Is it East Midlands Parkway? It looks like a, I know it looks like a station in the middle of the nowhere, just just to, next to a power station. But over somewhere in the distance, there is actually um, East Midlands Airport. It's just actually if I got if I got it in Microsoft Flight Simulator from Pyreg, it actually be able to be most de is actually one of the most detailed airports in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Like, just to give you an idea, they've even modeled the sushi in the restaurant. To be fair, that's like Wait, speaking of good modeling... Ooh! That actually looks pretty cool! Like, look at the detail in there! Under East Midlands. Um, under the station. That's actually pretty cool! What's that? Oh, we've got an HST streaking through. Going very fast. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, and I'll have to cut back the throttle because I thought I could go to full th throttle. Come on. 
Oh, I forgot about the brakes. Next up, Beeston in five miles. All right, do have a 40 limit coming up. And a 25 limit? Oh my gosh. We're supposed to get to Beeston in seven minutes. Okay. So we go through a tunnel and there's actually this quite beautiful bridge over a river. I don't know the name of the river, but just a river. Let's get pull back to notch one, see if that holds our speed. Yep, it seems to be. Look at the 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 Ratcliffe Power Station asset in TSW is actually really, really well done. Like, that looks genuinely impressive. And I also like the tunnel entrance here. It looks like a castle. That's actually pretty cool. I've actually seen something pretty similar to that on the... What was it? Bright... Oh, yes, the Bright Mainline. Uh, like, south of Gatwick. I can't remember where. All right. We've, we got a bridge. Nice. You've got a green signal. Oh. And let's let's get a photo. Why not? Um Why is The invisible wall is right next to the track. Come on. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to get it from the front. That's annoying. Like you wanna get a good shot and yet there's a visible wall. Like right there. Alright, let's yeah, look, I can't I... Like, this way, okay, I'll do it this, this way. Let's have a look at that. How's, how's the framing on that? I, l I love photo mode in TSW. <laughs> yeah, like, that's one of the best additions to TS, that TSW4 had over TSW3. Like, um, photo mode is just so, shall I say, um, um, not underrated, but at least, um, like, underappreciated. Alright, we have to, for some reason, cross. Oh, okay, otherwise we could be heading on the track to Totten Depot, okay. I, wanna ha I do want to have a look at Totten. Let's, ha let's have a look. Okay, let's give it notch. Notch 7. Right. I'll leave the tr I'll keep an eye on the HUD. And see if the train behaves itself. There it is. Um, so we just follow these tracks on the right. For do they? Yeah, they they eventually go underneath. I think. Yeah. What's this? This track. Oh yeah, that's heading to Totten as well. Come on. This is as fast as the drone camera goes. See if the. See how far the scenery extends for before we get to the yard. I believe some people were able to get here via scenario planner without any invisible wall disabling mods. Which is actually pretty impressive, I must say. The church clock was striking the hour. That's. Whoa! Uh. Okay, uh. D we'll, we'll just. Re we'll just. Come on. We'll disregard that. Um, yeah, this area is obviously undeveloped. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, hang on a second, and we'll continue going toward Totten. So it's, it's somewhere off. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is what Totten Depot looks like. Yeah. Not that interesting is the answer. All right, here we go. All right, we have a red signal just uh, just before Beeston. That's not good. All right, where's Beeston? Up here, right. All right, these two tracks on the left are come from Totten, though. All right, I think we've got a train ahead of us. Let's give it full, s mm, not full service. I'll bring it back to notch one. 
Is there someone ahead of us? Alright, let's check. There's no one ahead of us apart from some wagons parked in the yard. Okay, that, that, that's weird. Alright, let's give it full throttle. Probably maybe that fake red signal is probably maybe late. That's annoying. I don't know why the signals are yellow. That's weird. There's no one, literally no one ahead of me. At least, uh, yeah, I'm actually. You, but on this route before this patch, you actually used to have. You used to run about two minutes late. But now you're running on time. That that makes a big difference to your morale. Straight through. See ya. One mile to go. Wonder if Beeston has bees. Just throwing that out there. All right, point eight miles. Let's cut the throttle. Get some brakes on. Yeah. Certainly the patch for this route makes it a whole lot better to play than it used to. Oh! If I press contact signaler it sends it through the GSMR. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Hundred yards to go. Let's get some more brakes on. Hope I'm not holding any poor old HST up. Might be. Who knows? All right. Full service. Nope. Wrong. Wrong move. Let's see. Is there anyone behind us? Nope. Nope, not throttle. Brakes. There we go. Brakes released. Let's have a look around at Beast and I keep hitting nine instead of eight on the keyboard. Nice detail. I think that's a collectible, like a knocked over waste paper basket, who knows? Ready? Oh, I'll be there in a minute, Mom. Yeah, I'll I'll get to that again before I have my dinner chat. All right, next stop, Nottingham, and it's not too far away. Come on, doors, let's get going here. All right, buzzer going off. Next, Nottingham Station in three miles. Power! If you get up to 80 miles an hour, that's pretty impressive. Well, that's actually quite a lot of switches on the back panel. That's actually pretty impressive. This thing doesn't have a lot of performance behind it, but at least we are getting inching closer to Nottingham. Oh, hello, what's that? 
I haven't seen these wagons before. Where did they come from? MFA wagons. Are those from GWE? And I never knew about them? Huh. Dunno. Oh, there's another HST. We have a double yellow, and we have actually have a red before the before Nottingham. So let's start jumping on the brakes early here. Just coast, see if that red signal sorts itself out. Might be someone at my platform. Is there? Doesn't appear to be anyone in my way. That's strange. Why am I getting a red signal? Let's contact the signaler. Denied, move up to the signal and wait. Of course it's denied. My luck, it usually is. Probably someone coming out of Nottingham or wanting to come in behind me or something. Oh. Man, is there anyone behind me? There's that HST coming into Beeston. There's a 158 coming in behind me. But I don't think that would cause this signal. Really? Oh, wait, it's green. What? Why? Alright, full power. I want to get to 40 miles an hour. Go, go, go. Maybe all I had to do is move up to the signal. Alright, let's get up to 40 miles an hour. We have five minutes to do the 0.9 miles to Nottingham. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, we are getting shunted over all the way. That feels a bit fast to go for um, those points, but never mind. Alright, we do have a 25 limit. I'll get notch one of brakes on. Do I have 900 yards? Be quiet. I know. I see, the, I see the red signal. I see the red signal. Yeah. Twenty five limit in force. <sighs> Hope I get a gold medal today. Can't get a platinum because this doesn't have the TSW four scoring system. Alright, do have a fifteen limit coming once we enter the platform area, so that should be interesting. Let's get not just one of breaks. Oh hello, I see it, I see it. Come on. Break, 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 break. Okay. Oh, we did it. Okay, we're 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 safe. You don't need to work. Okay. I just saw a sign saying there'll be no AWS callouts for the red signal at the at the end of the platform. Okay. But I can see it anyway, so. Alright. Nottingham Station, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed today's trip with with the long gone East Midland trains. Get notch one. Full brakes. And perfect stop. Open the doors. There's Nottingham Station. Don't know why the parking lot. Why is the parking lot? So oh, it's because of the early morning sun. Okay, that. Alright. And. Please don't crash the game. Okay. We did have a bit of speeding, gold medal. No, we got platinum. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Right. Okay, so 
I think that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something new today about the Midland Main Line, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.